Hi everybody, I'm here with Lauren Anderson. She's my friend, my co-worker. We share Jessica Alba together as a client. I'm so excited to have her here today. I've asked her many times and she's finally here. And uh, I have a gorgeous model, her name is Tamara. And Tamara and I met a few weeks ago in Mexico. She's actually someone who watches my videos and she's getting married. And I've also asked on an Instagram post what you all would like to see. And a lot of you wanted to see a spring summertime wedding tutorial. So Lauren is here today and she is showing us how to do this. Monica, thank you so much for having me here of today. Um, this was such a great experience. Uh, your model is delightful, Tamara. And I really enjoyed giving her like this golden, peachy, pinky um, spring summer look. I feel that it's a look that everyone can wear and um, I really hope you like it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Skin's already prepped with Radial Dragon's Blood Hydraulic Mask. This adds a nice plump texture to the skin. I'm going to use Hourglass's Veil Primer in the T-Zone because I want to control um, oily skin in the summertime. So I'm just gonna hit the T-Zone. Spots that might have a little bit more oil or shine that we don't want them to. So the chin, above the lip, because it's a wedding, I want to use a luminizing foundation. I'm using Honest Beauty Luminizing Foundation in two colors, Almond and Camel. I'm going to go at the top of the cheekbones, chin, and then go back in with my fingertips, kind of blend it out into these areas. So with a lighter shade, I'm going to go in and brighten up a few areas. And then I use a beauty blender, just kind of like press it in. I like using a beauty blender to pick up any extra products that might be left on the skin. I really want to see your skin shine through, especially on the day of your wedding. You want to look like the best possible version of yourself. Foundation is done. I'm going to use a golden cream eyeshadow by Charlotte Tilbury called Betty. I've put all of my cream shadows in palettes. Just start on the lid, kind of close to the lash line, and pull the product up to the crease. and then kind of soften it. Then I'm gonna use a clean blending brush just to really soften this crease. This is a Laura Mercier blending brush. So now I'm gonna use Hourglass Radiant Light Powder. I'll use it later on the skin, but I'm also gonna incorporate it in the eye. And then I'm just going to throw this through the crease and Overlap the lid, kind of sets the powder and gives a little bit of shine but still looks like skin in the crease and up to the brow. Using the same cream gold shadow, I'm going to just go underneath these lashes to give it a little more shine. I'm going to use Max Teddy Eyeliner just to deepen the lash line. This pencil's really soft, so I take tiny little strokes more towards the outer corner of the eye, really thin towards the inner corner, and not very thick. So now I'm going to use a dome brush to smudge out that line. I just do little circular movements. I'm going to softly just line the outer corner of the lower lash line as well. 
and then blend that too. Going to curl the lashes with a Japanese lash curler. Now I'm going to use Dior Blackout Waterproof Mascara. Waterproof is great for summertime, oily skin, beach, wedding, tears. Get as close as you can to the base of the lash line. Kind of wiggle the product in and then pull it through the tip of the lash. Using the tip of the wand just to ever so slightly touch the lash and pull it down a little bit. I'm just like kind of painting the lash. I don't want too much product distributed. Now I'm going into eyebrows and I'm going to use the caramel color by Anastasia. Your eyebrows are already so beautifully groomed. Then I just take short stroke and follow the hair pattern. I'm going to use a little bit of foundation just to edge up the brow line, making it look really clean. going to use clay de peau in ochre. I like to do under eye concealer after eyeshadow, just in case any debris from the eyeshadow falls on the face. I don't have to apply the concealer twice. Just like press this in. Just going to go back in and hit some areas with concealer, if there's any pinkness in the skin showing. So now I'm going back in with the Hourglass powder. This one's in dim light. It's a little bit closer to her complexion. I'm using a large fluffy brush. And I'm gonna use this powder to set the makeup. And also it gives a little bit of a glow. So you'll just look really radiant but not um, oily. I like this powder because it sets the makeup, makes the skin look really radiant and not over powdered. So I'm using the Anastasia powder and peach nectar to add a little shine and glow to the tops of the cheekbones. This will really pick up a lot of shine and a little bit of warmth. Just gonna press that in a little bit. So now I'm using Chanel's blush and Rose Initial to kind of break up the peachiness. I'm just gonna add a little bit of pink to the apples. Go ahead and smile. Just kind of hit the apple. Here. I'm gonna use Avon lipstick in pure pink. I like to use a brush to apply lipstick. Gives me a little bit more control. I feel clumsy when I go straight from the tube. Now I'm gonna use Burberry Lip Liner in Dusty Rose. Just going to perfect the edges of this lip. Then I'm using the lip brush to kind of blend the lipstick and the liner together. And just hit the center of the lips for a little bit of shine and moisture. I think I'm gonna go back in and use the same product on the tops of the cheekbones too. So the makeup as is is a great everyday look. You can wear it whenever you like. Um, I think it's really beautiful. But if you really wanted to bump it up, especially for a wedding, I'm gonna use some mink lashes from Mosquito. I've already trimmed them and I'll put them on off camera. So your wedding look is complete. I hope you have a beautiful wedding and a beautiful marriage. Thank you so much. I love it. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you.